As program director, I think one of my main tasks is really to create the atmosphere of education. I think we have a goal to you know, provide patient care, to provide education to our fellows, and also to provide meaningful academics and research. Specifically for the fellows, what that means is to create a collaborative environment along with the faculty that we could teach our fellows and really you know, get them started in their career, which is a lifelong learning career of cardiology. I'm a people person, and my decision was ultimately going to be made by the atmosphere and the environment that I felt. You can approach whoever it is, whether it's the professor of medicine who you've read their papers and read their book chapters before in the same way that you would ask your co-fellow a question. They work well together. It's really a friendly program. The fellows rotate through three institutions, Jackson, University of Miami, U Health Towers, and the, the Miami VA Medical Center, which all provide an interesting mix of patients and really complete their training. This is a completely unique program in that it is an international structural heart disease program. You would train here for the majority of your training, about nine months. You do two months in Latin America, and then you do one month in Europe you will be exposed largely to new innovations in structural heart disease and interacting frequently with all the major thought leaders throughout the world in this. The hallmark of that is the Miami Valves Conference that we put on together. The Structural Fellow is paramount of importance in planning and executing that conference. We have the best known structural heart disease educators that join us. That relationship they make with our fellow stays forever. The other area which the fellows are exposed to is the area of innovation. In the International Medicine Institute, we work a lot with new devices, sometimes in their planning phase. And so our fellows are able to participate in those type of initiatives so they can understand the process of product nurturing and innovation. I'm not only a program director, but I'm an alumni as well. I've been and experienced the program firsthand at, at many different levels, as a resident applying to the program, as a fellow, and also as a junior faculty, and recently over the past six years as program director. And the things that kept me here are really the collegiality between the faculty and the fellows, the long-term mission and goals of academics, research, and providing excellent patient care. The way we look at the training program is that we're not only training great clinicians, which we are, but we're actually trying to cultivate the future thought leaders in the area of structural heart disease. Uh, we want our, our graduates to be participating in clinical trials and in new innovative techniques, developing patents of new devices for years to come. And that's really the goal of our program. We get fellows from all over the world. We choose fellows who we think will grow from our program and can handle the rigors and stressors of our program. Whether they decide to pursue further subspecialty training programs of which we have a wide breadth available here at the university, or whether they decide to go out into practice, they'll be the best cardiologist possible and provide excellent care to their patients and to their community. It makes me proud that at the end of the two years and the fellows who could barely move a catheter or replace a pacemaker are really skilled and are really knowledgeable and possess the experience to treat patients in a very judicious and safe and effective manner. They're gonna learn every single day of fellowship. From day one to the last day, you continue to learn. If you are interested in making a mark in the field, not only just becoming an expert in it, but actually making it excel, then this is a great place to come.